welcome all uh, today uh, we will be discussing uh, one more uh, c++ program to create a class with data members called as uh, principal uh, time and rate and we will be creating a uh, member functions to accept data values to compute simple interest and to display the result uh, in order to do so uh, we will be uh, opening the uh, turbo c++ So we'll click on uh, start turbo C++ and then uh, the compiler opens, uh, we'll start with new. In order to uh, go to the full screen, I'll say F5. Yeah, let me write the uh, name of the uh, program that we are doing uh, by using multi-line command argument. So here we'll say write a uh, program to create a class with data member functions I mean data members uh, principal uh, time and rate so here I'll just get into the next line and rate Uh, followed by um, in addition to that we will be creating member functions to accept data values to compute uh, simple interest and to display the result and I'll be closing the comment by putting star slash. Now what I'll do, uh, we'll try to include the header files hash include uh, iostream.h. In addition to that, I'll be using hash include conio.h. So then I'll be creating a class called as interest. So within this interest, Uh, what I'll do is I'll have two parts uh, one is uh, private part the other one is uh, public part and again uh, what I'll do uh, here I won't declare any variables so just I'll declare the member functions called as a get data and then uh, I'll end this uh, uh, what we call it as a member function followed by uh, void compute uh, to calculate the uh, simple interest for that particular purpose we'll use it and then void put, da uh, put data uh, it is nothing like uh, display kind of a device I mean member function and after that I'll close it uh, now what I'll do I'll write the uh, class name that is void interest followed by scope resolution so by this time you know like uh, why we use this uh, scope resolution so if you write the uh, member function outside the class then you need to use the scope resolution operator so here I'll say enter principal amount time and rate uh, for that I'll uh, display this particular statement enter principal amount comma uh, time and rate and after that I'll close this and I'll put a um, I'll just go to the next line by using ln and after that I need to read all the uh, data so therefore c in I'll say p as a variable for principal and t for uh, time and then r for rate and after that I'll close that particular statement now what I'll do I'll get into the uh, next one uh, that is to calculate the uh, to compute the uh, simple interest for that again I need to start with the class name and then uh, scope resolution operator so I'll say compute 
and uh, I'll start with the uh, member function uh, coding. So here I'll say si is equal to within brackets p into t into r whole thing divided by uh, 100. This is the formula that we'll be using. And after that, uh, what I'll do, I'll come back and then I'll just uh, again write the uh, class name followed by scope resolution operator and then put data. So just to display the uh, calculated result. Now what I'll do, um, I have to display all the values. So therefore, uh, principal, Uh, principal is equal to what I'll say uh, the value of principal is uh, p and then uh, go to the next line so the next thing is value of time so therefore I'll say time and after that I'll close this uh, comment and I have to display the uh, value of uh, time so the variable is uh, uh, t and I'll use the uh, end l so means to say go to the next line so next i'll be using c out and uh, i'll be using i'll be displaying the rate and then i'll be closing that particular statement and i'll be displaying the r value and then um, i'll be uh, switching over to the next line to display the result and next i'll say uh, the computed result called as a simple interest so therefore within uh, double quotes i'll say simple interest uh, is equal to I mean colon uh, I'll display the uh, simple interest that is SI and go to the next line so now uh, the computation is finished now what I'll do is I'll come to the main module so now I'll say in void main this is the main module that will be starting and the next thing is I have to create an object so therefore I'll say uh, the uh, first I'll specify the class name that is interest and then I I is the object which belongs to interest class so therefore I'll say CLR SCR to clear the output screen and then I'll call the all the uh, member functions that is I dot uh, get data and after that uh, I'll call I dot compute and then I'll close this uh, and after that uh, I'll say I dot put data to display the data and you can use it as a display also and then I'll close this uh, I'll close this so now I need to save the file so therefore I'll say I'll go to file menu and I'll click on save as and I'll say yes I that is simple interest and then I'll say enter now the file is saved uh, now I haven't declared any uh, variables over here so now what are the variables that we have used the variables that we have used uh, I'll be using a double uh, as the uh, data type uh, p comma t comma r comma si because it can have uh, decimal values so therefore i'll say f2 that is saved and then i'll press f9 just to check out any errors is there or not uh, at present uh, we don't have any error so therefore i'll say control f9 now i need to give the amount uh, so let me give you give the amount as uh, 10000 and then uh, yes of course i pressed uh, the numeric i have not pressed the uh, num lock so therefore it had uh, gone to the mm, uh, it came back so therefore i'll say 10000 and then i'll press enter now i'll say 5.5 years i mean time and then i'll press enter the rate i'll say that it is 8.75 with uh, interest now what is the simple interest that I'll be finding? So I'll be pressing in order to see the output. I'll say Alt F5. You can see that it is 4812.5. This is how you will evaluate the uh, or you will write the program to compute the simple interest. Hope you understood. Uh, thank you.